guys, welcome back to TH Crafty. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a beautiful necklace with a chain and then a bunch of different type of rocks. So, I will show you what you need when the real tutorial starts and I hope you guys have a fantastic day and, but before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell down below so you get all the notifications for our next videos on. And if you're new here, my name's Trinity. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got our chain. And these are all the tools you will probably need for this whole entire thing. Now, I got my chain and over here I have a bunch of glass beads as you can see on my left. Now you wanna pick out any amount of glass beads that you want. They can be blue, pink, purple, but I'm gonna do blue, green, and white. It's kind of gonna be an ocean theme. Okay guys, so now as you can see, I got my rocks laid exactly how I want them along the chain. I have an assortment of cool colors. Now you want kind of these pin things with the little pancakes on the bottom. That's what I call them. As you can see. And then you also want little hoops to attach them to the necklace. Just like this. Now, I don't know why I tried to do that transition, but now you will need this little circle tool and you will need your wire cutters. And you are going to cut off, you are going to slide them onto this wire and then you will cut off the excess, not all of it. You want to leave a little bit to make the loop. So as you can see, I put them each in the hole. And now you wanna cut off about that much of the wire so you can make the little loop so you can attach them to the circles and then attach them to the chain. Now, as you can see, I've cut off most of the excess. Now, with your kind of circular tools, you wanna to bend this down. And if you're wondering, of course, I use wire cutters. Now, you want to use these tools to bend the bottom into kind of a circle shape. Just like this. And now they're really starting to look like charms. Now you want to take this, the circles, take one circle and then you want to pull it apart. So you want to grab your pliers. I have two pliers luckily and you want to put them on both sides and you see that little slit in the circle. You want to put one on one side of it and one on the other and then you want to pull it apart to where it has an opening and you can slide the little rock charms on top. Okay, so now when you wanna slide it on the chain, you wanna grab the chain and I 
think it's better to put the center rock on first so you know where to go. Now, if you put it on the bottom of one chain, for every other chain, you have to put it on the bottom. Just like that. And now, you get your crab hook or lobster hook. And you want another circle. And you want to pull it apart just like the others. So you want to grab your pliers and you want to pull it apart where there's a little slit. Just like you did with all of your rocks. And then you want to grab the very end of your chain and you want to slide a circle on there. You want to slide the crab hook onto the circle and then you want to slide the circle onto whichever side you want on the chain and you want to close it with another plier. And you want to make sure your circle is perfectly closed. <laughs>